Wednesday saw Japanese Premier Shinzo Abe make history by becoming the first Japanese leader to ever address a joint meeting of Congress. And during his speech, the Japanese Prime Minister looked to history again, offering his condolences for the American lives lost during World War II. His remarks received a standing ovation. On behalf of Japan and the Japanese people, I offer with profound respect my eternal condolences to the souls of all American people that were lost during World War II. However, Abe stopped short of apologizing for wartime atrocities. This angered many protesters from Asian countries who demonstrated outside Capitol Hill. They deemed his attitude towards Japan's war history as unacceptable. Can you reverse history? You can't change the history. History is history. We urge Abe to apologize to all the wartime victims in the Asian countries as well as the American people for their Pearl Harbor attack and admit all the war crimes committed by the wartime militarists. Abe's attitude to the wartime past and his push for Japan to play a greater military role has heightened tensions in the region. He's on a state visit to the U.S. to discuss a wide-ranging trans-Pacific trade deal. Abe and U.S. President Barack Obama have also agreed on new guidelines for defense cooperation. Clementine Logan, CCTV.